The limit of sine of 1 over x times e to the cosine x as x goes to infinity is equal to 0. It's pretty easy to figure this out if you think about what's going on here. As x goes to infinity, 1 over x will approach 0, so sine of 1 over x will also approach 0, while e to the cosine x is just going to oscillate because cosine x oscillates between negative 1 and positive one. So in the end, we would just have e to the cosine x, which is staying between two values, and sine of 1x is going to approach zero, thus the whole thing is going to approach zero. Of course, this is specifically because e to the cosine x is oscillating between two fixed values. So if we're trying to prove that this limit equals zero a little bit more rigorously, the squeeze theorem is a great approach, because we know that cosine x, the power of e is between negative 1 and positive 1. Hence, e to the power of cosine x is between e to the positive 1, which is just e, and e to the negative 1, which is just 1 over e. So since cosine x is between these values, we know that e to the cosine x is between these values, but of course the thing we're trying to prove something about is sine of 1 over x times e to the cosine x. So now, we'll multiply across this whole inequality by sine of 1 over x. That way, the expression in the middle will match the expression we actually want. After multiplying everything by sine of 1 over x, we have this inequality. 1 over e times sine of 1 over x is less than or equal to sine of 1 over x times e to the cosine x is less than or equal to e times sine of 1 over x. Now you may ask, how do we know we can just multiply by sine of 1 over x like this? How do we know that it's not negative and may flip the direction of the inequalities? Well, that's basically because x is approaching positive infinity. As x approaches positive infinity, 1 over x is approaching 0 from the right, which means that sine of 1 over x will also be approaching 0 from the right, and so sine of 1 over x must be positive. If we think about about the unit circle, the angle inside of the sine function is approaching zero from the positive direction. So all of our sine values, which are the y coordinates of these points, those are all going to be positive as they approach zero. Now we have the expression whose limit we're trying to evaluate squeezed between these two functions. So we can evaluate the limit of these two bounding functions, and if they're equal, we'll be able to apply the squeeze theorem. Indeed, it's easy to see the limit of the function on the left as x goes to infinity and the limit of the function on the right as x goes to infinity are both equal to zero. On the left, 1 over e is just a fixed number, and sine of 1 over x goes to 0 as x goes to infinity. On the right, e is just a fixed number, and sine of 1 over x is going to 0. So both of these limits are equal to 0, and since sine of 1 over x times e to the cosine x is squeezed between these two functions, its limit as x goes to infinity must also be 0. So that's how to use the squeeze theorem to evaluate this limit. Let me know in the comments if you have any questions, and be sure to check out my Calculus 1 course and Calculus 1 exercises playlists in the description for more. Thanks for watching.